Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to build this do it this do it yourself wooden PC case and how to rebuild it. I know there are a lot of videos with wooden PC cases out there and there are also a lot of the far more impressive cases than this one but I tell you that you won't find a video for which you would need less woodworking skills than for this one. I mean, even I managed to do it and my woodworking skills are awful. And another benefit is that for this one you won't need a lot of expensive woodworking tools, um, but we we'll come to this part later on. Before we start, um, some safety instructions first. Since this is made of wood, made out of wood, um, you might have guessed it, this is not a fireproof certified uh, case or whatsoever. I mean, um, technically it won't suddenly catch fire or anything. Joke aside. Um, I mean, the, the wood should normally be able to handle the temperatures. Um, but just in case, um, if you leave your house, um, you better be safe than sorry. Um, just switch off uh, or disconnect it somehow from, from, the, uh, from the power. I've already said um, you don't need um, super expensive woodworking tools um, to build this case. A drill, or I don't know even if you call it a drill in, in English, a stapler or a tacker. And, but actually, actually you don't really need this one. I only used it um, to, to, to attach um, this, this metal mesh um, um, at these sides here. So um, if you have pets or cats, for example, um, I guess they would love to grab inside and, and rip some cables off. So um, you don't really need um, the stapler. And yeah, last but not least, um, some screws and uh, mothers. Do you call them mothers in English? Um, I think you get it later, what I mean. Yeah, so let's take it apart and I'll show you how to build it. So, um, the wooden case itself is from Obi, you call it in Germany, um, the, 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 the market. Um, it's um, 40 centimeters times um, 25 times 30 or something. I write, I write it in the description and link it as well. Um, and it costs um, 30 euros. Um, it doesn't come with a top, um, but I just purchased two cases and used um, one of these side walls um, for the top. As we are speaking about the top, um, I've just attached um, the fan here, which blows from, from the top um, down onto the bottom cooler um, of the CPU. Um, by the way, I've, um, for everything, I've as well used um, these screws um, attached into the wood. And with these, um, that's what I meant with mothers. Um, I don't know if, you, if it's the right English term. Um, and attached these every 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 um, hardware parts this way, so you can practically um, this and reassembly indefinitely, and without wearing down some wearing off some holes um, directly drilled into the into the wood. I've also attached a screw here with a, with a white cable tie. Um, which practically holds the, the GPU in place, so the PCI slot um, doesn't hold all the weight. And um, also another thing, to take hardware apart, um, I've used white cable ties everywhere and attached as well black cable ties directly into the wood. So when taking something apart, I just can uh, cut off all white cable um, ties while um, not touching the black ones. So, let's take this one apart here. 
that's the GPU. It's a uh, Radeon HD 7850. Pretty old, old but gold. Then take off um, the power cord for the CPU. And the power cord for the mainboard. And I, as we're speaking about um, here, the the power switch I've I've just um, used from the um, from the old case. Um, but if you don't have any one, um, you get power switches as well as LEDs, um, which you can just attach to the mainboard for a couple of euros, maybe one or two euros um, each part. So I think now we can already take the motherboard out. So what you see here is practically um, a double bottom, which is also used from the old, um, from the second um, wooden case, which is um, the side part, this one here. Um, and as well, just some screws um, drilled um, from the bottom here. Um, I think um, two, two millimeter screws, or I, I write it in the description and um, some mothers here in between and one to, to hold the motherboard. So now we come to the, the very bottom and here is another fan um, which for which I have um, drilled some more holes into the case here at the bottom. So, um, so the fan um, actually blows some fresh air um, from the bottom to, to keep the hard drives cool. Um, I'm actually not quite happy with, these, uh, with this construction holding um, the hard drives in place, um, but I guess they, yeah, well, they serve the purpose. So, and while I'm already at it, I'll change the big hard drive because um, the friendly guy um, from which I bought um, the hardware parts from eBay locals um, sent me one terabyte with it and the friend who gets this PC definitely doesn't need one terabyte drive so he gets the old one. So put this one in here. And as you can also see here, um, first um, I've attached the double bottom um, at the case um, directly with wooden screws, directly drilled through um, this case and through this case. But then I decided against it and actually attached these screws, um, which I just place the, yeah, the double bottom on top. If I just had remembered in which order, I think it was this one. Uh, now the power switch. 
And I indeed managed to attach it in the right order. These pins for the power switch and the LED. Now let's get to the costs of this, of this PC here. Then we also have a look at the temperatures and also on the performance. Um, so for the costs, the case, all in all, two times the box with screws and um, cable ties. Um, it costs around 30, 35 euros. Um, I, I listed in details in the description below. Yeah, um, the hardware all in all cost me 55 euros and I bought it from eBay locals and the, the, the guy I bought it from was actually quite nice. The CPU, it's, an, yeah, it's a quite old CPU, an AMD A10 5700. It's basically a quad core um, with up to 4 gigahertz per core, no hyperthreading. Um, I think it's, it's from around 2013. Um, 8GB of DDR3 RAM, the micro ATX board, um, which is important because um, only a micro ATX board will fit into this uh, uh, wooden box. And the also old AMD Radeon HD 7850. Um, unluckily, it's, it's the one gigabyte version that you can actually do something with this thing. Um, I put another, uh, I put an SSD into it, so, um, which cost me um, another 30 euro. The first benchmarking game is Elder Scrolls Online, one of my favorite MMOs. In order to not lower the FPS due to recording too much, or any at all, I recorded with the camera. The settings are a mix of low to high, since I lowered the more demanding stuff like shadows and reflections to low, while keeping texture quality at high. Even in cities, the frames per second always stayed above 40. So only if you do PvP for example, you might have to lower them a bit more. The next game in the benchmark is um, Hypercharged, um, a co-op shooter. Um, it's a mix of base building and first person shooter uses the Unreal Engine 4 and yeah I was actually surprised how well this game ran on this almost 10 years old machine. Texture quality and the effects quality was set to high while post-processing and shadow quality was set to medium. The render distance was also set to maximum. And as you can see here, the frames, even in battles, stayed almost always above 50. I recorded the temps while playing and we can see here that the CPU never went above 64 degrees, the both hard drives stayed below 35 and even the GPU never went above 67. The values are definitely more than acceptable and to be honest I was even a bit surprised that the system stayed that cool. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.